Our top story is Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who has postponed his Pakistan visit by a day. This comes a day after Riyadh condemned Pakistan-based terror group's suicide attack against Indian security personnel. This is the latest that we are getting in, that the Crown Prince has delayed his trip by a day. Remember, Prince Salman, who will be reaching Pakistan on Sunday, will also be visiting India after departing from Islamabad. While the Crown Prince's visit has been delayed by a day, it is the Saudi business delegation visit which has also become a cause of worry for Pakistan. The Pakistan-Saudi business meet, which was scheduled on February 17th, has been postponed indefinitely. This comes as a major setback for Pakistan, which has been expecting investment deals as well as grants. And to bring us more details and share his precious perspective, I'm joined in by Sidhan Sibbal, our principal diplomatic correspondent, who joins me live from New Delhi. Sidhan, this is indeed big news coming in. A day after condemning the Pulwama attack, you know, Saudi Crown Prince has not only cut short his visit, but also the delegation, the business delegation, which was supposed to have a very crucial meeting on Sunday, is not taking place at the moment. It has been postponed. What do you make of these latest? developments. Well, clearly India's diplomacy is working uh, quietly but swiftly. We know what happened after the Cabinet Committee on Security. The Finance Minister briefing the media said uh, one of the focus will be isolation of Pakistan. This, of course, happened after the Uri attack also, but this time it is at a super serious level. And that is why we are seeing these developments. This is the first development we have seen globally that the Saudi Crown Prince uh, has uh, deferred his uh, visit by a day to Pakistan because because it would have made uncomfortable moments because he will be coming to New Delhi and at a time when uh, India is is uh, uh, is counting the magnitude of the tragedy, it of course uh, will, will will would have been uncomfortable for the for for the Indian side also and of course for the Saudi side also. Right. But of course, uh, taking into concerns of the Indian side, uh, the Saudi prince delayed his visit and also the business delegation has uh, uh, has uh, right. won't be coming, won't be participating. But that business delegation will be participating here in India for an event. All right. So that's a very interesting uh, point that you mentioned that that same business delegation will be participating in an event in India. Coming to that, will the latest developments arrive as a major setback to the big ticket investments that Pakistan has been looking for coming in from Saudi Arabia? Well, of course, uh, uh, it will have a major impact because uh, Pakistan has very few friends because it's constant support to terrorism uh, in the region and across the world. Saudi Arabia, UAE and China have been supporting the beleaguered economy of uh, Pakistan. Last year only, Saudi Arabia announced it will be uh, giving approximately $6 billion uh, to Pakistan to make sure that the country, is uh, uh, its economy uh, stays afloat. But it seems that this terror attack exposes what Pakistan is doing. It seems that these uh, the, the money, the, the fund which is given to Islamabad is funded to the deep state in Pakistan and not to the people of Pakistan. They, of course, are also suffering because the policies made in Rawalpindi are not only against the interest of the region, but also against the interest of the people. But by and large, yes, investment will take a dip because who will invest in a country that supports terror, the country that that, uh, is destabilizing the region, a country that in itself is mired in corruption. So clearly there will be a major impact and India right. of course has already sent a political message by cancelling the most favoured nation status to Pakistan. Clearly India is sending a message, this time is a strong message to the world that it's time that Pakistan should be boycotted globally. Right, Siddharth, also on a last note, how important is the balancing act for the Saudi Crown Prince at the moment, who is also scheduled to visit India after his Pakistan visit? Well, Saudi Crown Prince is going to Pakistan because uh, the uh, Pakistani Prime Minister had already visited Riyadh uh, just a few months ago. It's a kind of a reciprocal visit and primarily because the Saudis are helping uh, to stay afloat Pakistanis given the fact that what ha is happening to their economy. But India is another place. India is one of the fastest growing economy in the world. He is coming here not to give money but to take back investment, to invest here in India so that the bilateral trade increases 
increase is there are different dimensions to India and Riyadh's ties, India and ties of any other country which are based on investment, on making sure that the people of both the countries are benefited, unlike Pakistan, which has a relationship of either a beggar or either sponsoring terror.